हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शीला रत्न बनसोडे फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड्स एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलरली वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू पिरामिड्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द सेक्शनल व्यू ऑफ पिरामिड एट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ द वीडियो आई सजेस्ट यू टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड थिंक ओवर द स्ट्रक्चर or the shape of pyramid as we all know pyramids have a definite base of a triangle or a square a polygon or some other shape it has edges it has faces it has base edges it has vertical faces vertical edges a common point where all these edges meet from the base at a height is called as apex pyramids can be a square pyramid a hexagonal pyramid a triangular pyramid a pentagonal pyramid depending upon the shape of the base let us move further example a square pyramid of side 30 mm and height 50 mm has its base on hp and two of its side of base perpendicular to vp a section plane cuts the pyramid such that it is perpendicular to vp and inclined at 60 degrees to hp and passes through the point on the axis 15 mm above the base of pyramid draw front view sectional top view and sectional side view let us analyze this question we have a square pyramid whose base side is 30 mm that is base is a square of 30 mm side and height of axis that is the distance of apex from the base is 50 mm this is axis height 50 mm has its base on hp that is the pyramid is resting on ground or on horizontal plane further there is a condition that two of its side of base perpendicular to vp further the section plane cuts the pyramid such that it passes it is perpendicular to vp and inclined at 60 degrees to hp when a plane is perpendicular to vp it is seen as a line view in front view and inclined at 60 degrees to hp inclination with hp is seen in front view and passes through the point on the axis 15 mm above the base of pyramid so we have three conditions for the section plane first condition it is perpendicular to vp that is it will be seen as a line view in front view the same line view is inclined at 60 degrees to hp so the line will be inclined at 60 degrees to xy line and the line passes through a point 15 mm above the base of the pyramid for this condition we need to draw front view sectional top view and sectional side view let us proceed with the drawing xy line or the reference line now as we have seen the pyramid is resting on hp let us start with the top view so in the top view we have a square of 30 mm side and we have joined the corners as we are working on pyramid 30 mm side let us project these points to get the desired front view so this is a square pyramid resting on base on hp with two of its side of base perpendicular to vp this condition can be seen over here so this edge base edge and this base edge are perpendicular to vp seen in top view this is the height and this is the naming we have named the pyramid as base we have 1 2 3 4 and apex as 4 now let us move further towards the cutting plane 
so this is the cutting plane now wherever this cutting plane intersects with the edges of the pyramid will mark those points the first point where it intersects is this point here we have two vertical edges o1 and o2 seen together in the front view so here we obtain two points here at the middle there is no edge and at the base we have two points one over here and one over here 15 mm above and inclined at 60 degrees let us project these points on the corresponding edges in the top view so points o1 dash o2 dash will be projected on o1 and o2 similarly the points at the base will be projected on 1 4 and 2 3 so let us name these points so p q r and s are the points where the cutting plane cuts the pyramid so when we join these points we get the required sectional top view of the pyramid cut by the given cutting plane we dark the remaining part of the pyramid as this part has been removed it is shown in thin line let us move to the side view we draw a vertical xy line we draw the 45 degrees line you can also draw the side view using rotation method or this 45 degrees line method we project each and every point from the top view in the side view and from the front view so this is the point apex point the base points we join these points now the cutting point wherever the cutting plane cuts o1 dash and o2 dash that point has been projected it will be on o2 and o1 so this is o this is 1 and this is this is 2 and this is 1 so one point will be over here the other point will be over here the points on the base that is this will be at the extreme corners so this is the required section plane sectional view of the pyramid we'll name this as p p dash q dash r dash and s dash so this is the complete projection of the given square pyramid let us see one more example a square pyramid of side 30 mm and height 50 mm has its base on hv with one of the edge of base parallel to vp a section plane cuts the pyramid at an angle of 45 degrees to VP and is 6 mm away from the axis of pyramid. Draw front view, sectional top view and sectional side view. Let us begin. We have a square pyramid of base side 30 mm and height 50 mm. It is resting on HP that is it has the base on HP similar to the previous example with one of the edge of base parallel to VP. We will come back to this condition. A section plane cuts the pyramid at an angle of 45 degrees to VP. The cutting plane is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Inclination with VP is seen in top view and is 6 mm away from the axis of pyramid. Draw the front view, sectional top view and sectional side view. Let us start the drawing. The xy line. Now as the square pyramid is resting on HP, we draw start with the base. We draw the base. We complete it as a pyramid by joining the opposite corners, the side of 30 mm. Now we move to complete the front view. So this is the front view of the pyramid. Now the condition is one of the edge of base parallel to VP. Now this base edge and this base edge, the bottom one, are parallel to XY line. So the condition is satisfied. Here we can see the same condition can be mentioned in two ways. In the previous example we have seen that two base edges are perpendicular to VP means the same condition or in the current example 
one of the base edge parallel to VP means the same condition. The same condition can be mentioned or put forth in two different ways. Let us move further. This is the naming. Naming for front view. Now the cutting plane. Now cutting plane is inclined at 45 degrees to VP and 6 mm away from axis. This is 45 degrees. This is the axis point O and from this we have measured 6 mm. Now the points where this cutting plane cuts the edges of the pyramid. It cuts this base edge, it cuts this vertical edge and this base edge. So we have three points one on 2 3, one on O 3 and one on 3 4. Let us name these points as P Q R. Let us project these points in front view. Point on 2 3 will be projected at the base. Here we have 2 dash 3 dash. Similarly point Q is on vertical edge O 3. O3 is represented as O3 dash in front view. So here we have that point. And point on 3, 4 will be exactly on 3 dash, 4 dash. So these are the points. We join this. So this is the sectional view or sectional front view. We join the remain we dark the remaining part. Now we move to side view. 45 degrees line. We project the base, we complete the pyramid in the side view. Now the points where the cutting plane cuts the pyramid. Point Q is projected directly over here. Then we have point P projected over here. We have point Q projected over here and we have point R projected over here. So these are the points that we get in side view. Now we join these points together. So this is the sectional view in side view. We dark the remaining edges. Similarly in the top view we dark the remaining portion of the pyramid. So this is the complete projection of the pyramid when it is cut by a cutting plane inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Thank you.